The downing of the Malaysia Airlines jet is causing new concerns for many travelers. Flying over a war zone, whether it be in Ukraine or another region like the Middle East, can be extremely dangerous. So how does an airline decide whether its pilots should and should not go? CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff has a story. Passengers arriving at JFK were rattled by news of the Malaysia jet shot down over Ukraine. Many had no idea war-torn airspace is not always avoided by commercial flights. I find that very scary. I hate to fly to begin with. The jetliner was on a flight path often used from Europe to Asia. While some airlines circumvented the country, others continued to fly the route. According to Farmingdale State College aviation expert Lawrence Lopez, it's a matter of money. In an effort to reduce costs, um, the airlines make sure that they are running fuel-efficient trips, and it's the shortest distance between two points. But now, with nearly 300 dead, frequent flyers say they'll check their flight paths online and hope airlines rethink routes over hotspots. We shouldn't leave it up to the airlines to decide on financial reasons. Yeah, I will pay extra too if it means a little more extra gas. The FAA had prohibited flights over Ukraine's Crimea and has now extended the closed airspace to eastern Ukraine. But foreign carriers don't follow FAA rules. Malaysia Airlines said the route had been deemed safe. This usual flight route uh, is commonly used every day by many airlines. Uh, this being declared safe. Today, flight tracking services showed airlines worldwide rerouting flights to avoid Ukraine. This man's flight from Singapore was one of them. At Singapore, they took extra 15 minutes to fuel more because they got a message they had to go through a different route. Passengers can check their routes on one of many websites that track flight plans. But if it's an American carrier, Ukraine airspace is off limits until further notice. In Farmingdale, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.